All right, y'all. Um, we gotta have a little talk. So, I am highly, highly upset because you probably did not watch my Wal my Walmart video, my last video. So, go watch that. Um, they did not send out notifications for that. All right, y'all. Um, we about to hop straight into a story time. Before we start with the story time, y'all know I gotta talk my shit. They did not send out notifications for that Walmart video. Um, if you don't know what Walmart video I'm talking about, that's because they ain't sending out no fucking notifications. That's tough. That's tough, bro. YouTube really hating on me and shit, but it's okay. Um, if you're watching this video right now, go watch the Walmart video. It's gonna pop up probably, like, the top. And, um, right now, if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed because, like, it say like 40% of the people who watch my videos not subscribed. Why would you do that to me, bro? Let's, hold up. Why would you do that to me? Why are you not, my fault, I just woke up. Why are you, why are you not subscribed? You think you funny? Subscribe, bro. For a big problem. Um. Let's hop into the story time, though. I just woke up. Y'all already know, I wake up with the energy though. You get what I'm saying? That's why I need eight hours of sleep. It's your boy, Rod. Jeez, back with another video, y'all. And why is it so fucking high, bro? All right, that's, that's okay. Like, hold up, I can raise this chair level. Yeah. All right, today's story time is how I fought my Uber driver. This is a recent story time, you get what I'm saying? I like to give y'all the recent story times. As close to the event that it happened, like, type shit. So, as close as possible to the time it happens. So, um, I really need to use somebody's number or something. I need a new Uber and Lyft account. Um, I think I really maxed my shit out this time, you know? Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So, y'all know I came back from, um, Vegas, like, last week. Like, a week and a half ago, right? I didn't ever think I was gonna have to come back and whoop some ass. Especially somebody from Uber. You get what I'm saying? Like, do better. But, um, basically, I'm coming back to Philadelphia, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Philadelphia, um, airport I met. Fuck. Yo, if you say Philadelphia, please make sure you say in Philly. But, um, yeah, I'm coming back to Philly's airport or whatever. And I need to call an Uber because my mom and my, and my, and my, um, and my stepdad don't land until, like, two hours after us. So it's like, we can wait in there for two hours or we can get an Uber to the house because they gave us the keys. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to get an Uber to the house because I don't want to wait in nobody's airport. Like, you could get caught lacking at the airport. Niggas don't know. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go home. So we grab our bags. You know, they let our, they let our bags off the plane. You know, you pick up your bag. We all got our bag. I call it an Uber, right? It's some weird nigga. He got like some, he an African nigga. He got like a weird name. Everything chilling, bro. Once everything chilling. Once once he hopped in the car, and he just like you know he hopped in the car and he just he driving to the location. Everything going smooth. He doing what the fuck he's supposed to do. So um, while we driving, everybody basically just chilling, bro. We just really really like tired because it's like bro, we was on a flight, bro. If if you don't like if you ain't driving. First, first class where you can lay down and it's a fucking bed. Nine times out of ten, you sleep with shit. Plain sleep ain't sleep. Plain sleep is kind of like, you know how on computer it's shut down, it's sleep, and then it's like whatever re reset. It's just, it's just sleep. Like when you click sleep, it's not shut down. Would be getting some real rest. It's just sleep. It's just like. I feel like it's just your eyes closed. Like, you don't feel rejuvenated. You wake up pissed. Because it's like, bro, what? I've been asleep this whole flight. No, you haven't been asleep. You've been, like, dormant. You've just been sitting there for real, for real. So, we all really, really tired and drained. So, I really didn't have the patience or the energy to deal with nobody today. And I thought I wasn't going to. 
So he pulled up to our house. He's pulling up near our house. So my house is on this side of the street. He pulled up on this side of the street. and But, but farther up. So I'm like, bro, can you go to my house? Like, we got, like, four fat-ass bags of luggage. Can you go where I paid you to go? So he said the GPS told me to go here. I know what the GPS is saying. But what is the address in there? My address. So go to that address, gang. If you give him your address, and it's 123 Street. And this nigga pulling up to 456 Lane? Go to 123 Street, nigga. I don't care if they tell you to go to... Th bro, so I'm like, bro, my house back there, we got luggage, gang. Can you go back there? Like, I'm... Can you go back there? So, he like, well, the GPS telling me go here. I can't bust no U-turn. I know. I'm actually go go make a right and come back around and, and drop me off where I paid you to go. So, he like, I'm not doing that. So, my brother's laughing because they see me getting heated. You get what I'm saying? I want my brother Lil, my brother Elijah, and they laughing at me because they, they, they see I'm getting heated. And I'm kind of arguing with this nigga because he, the way he's saying this, I'm not doing it. So it's like, bro, mind you, the Uber was high as shit. I paid $50 for the Uber. So it's like, bro, who you talking to? I wanted to punch this nigga in his mouth, bro. I wanted to punch this nigga right in his mouth. But I'm chilling. I'm chilling because I'm like, bro, he gonna, he gonna go. That's why I paid him to go. He gonna go. So I'm like, bro. I'm like, bro, I paid you to go over there, Keith. Please go over there. I, I don't want to argue, you get what I'm saying? All you got to do is make this right, come back around this small block, and just go in front of my door. Like, you, you, know, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you why. This nigga definitely deserved the ass whooping. So, I'm sitting in the back seat, and he like, no. So, my brother like, all right, pop the trunk. They over it. I'm not over it, bro. I'm not walking across. And mind you. On, where, where we was going, it's a bunch of coons on the corner. If you don't know what a coon is, that's somebody who don't care about their life. Um, I'm not saying everybody who sells drugs don't care about their life. They might have kids, might take care of their kids. But if they putting themselves in that predicament where they can get arrested for doing something illegal, you're a coon. Um, coon, coon don't got to be a bad thing. Embrace it, you know? I don't know. If you out here killing people, you're a coon. So there's a bunch of coons on the corner. A bunch of people who stand outside every single day and look broker by the day. <laughs> How you out there selling drugs and you look worse by the day? So it's a bunch of coons on the corner. I don't like walking past coons. My face is very noticeable in Philly. And um, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to see the coons to see my face. And then after they see my face, they... um. You know, now they know where I live. So I'm like, bro, that's another reason I wanted him to just go. I'm like, bro, just go across the street. Like, please, you're making this difficult for both of us. So, um, he, 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 he not budging for real, for real. He not budging. So I'm like, all right. I'm like, you know what? Just pop the trunk. And I said it in a manner like, yo, just pop the trunk. I don't give a fuck what manner I'm saying it in. Because now I'm being nice. Now I'm being nice because I'm like, you get what I'm saying? Fuck, 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 fuck getting you to do what I paid you to do. I'm going, I'm going to let you slide. So I'm already letting you slide. So the way I talk to you shouldn't even matter. I'm letting you slide, nigga. My nigga. I'm letting you slide, bro. So, um, he said, yo, stop talking to me like that. Afri all this African ass accent. I should have socked that nigga right there. Pussy, shut up. I should have hooked him. I'm right behind his seat, bro. It, it would have went right across the fucking jump, right across the part that's holding his head and just would have hit him right in his fucking jaw. I could have knocked that nigga out, but I didn't right there. I could have, but I didn't. So I'm like, bro, pop the fucking trunk. So he, he popped the trunk. He like, I'll pop the trunk, but stop talking to me like that. I said, I'll talk to you however the fuck I want. I don't know you, nigga. I don't owe you shit. Stop, t like, come on. Stop playing with me. So... He finally popped the trunk. My brother's cracking the fuck up, slapping the ground, slapping the car. They don't even dig. I'm dead ass serious. So after he popped the trunk, they getting the stuff out the trunk, and I'm about to slide out. And he, yo, stop. Don't talk to me like that. Are you still worrying about respect, sir? Don't you feel stupid? A little dumb? I can talk to you however I want, so... I'm like, bro, eat a dick, dick up, nigga. I'm talking to him however I want. I'm like, bro, you can dick up, dick up, gang. 
Literally, dick up. I don't, bro, I don't give a fuck about nothing you talking about. Fuck you. So, this nigga getting hyped. Now he, now he's sitting back like this. What you sitting back for? I just was about to get out the car, but now you playing yourself. Why you sitting back? Why you sitting back? So, so, um, he's sitting back like that. I'm like, bro, fuck you. I'm getting my bags. I'm getting my bags. And he's screaming out the front window. He got, he got, um, you know, what's the what's the wires that you connect to both cars if you want to jump a car? The jumper cables? I threw the jumper cables out. He got red Hirachis. I threw the red Hirachis out. He looking back. He talking shit. I get back in the back seat. Boom! Still this nigga right in his face. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Now you bringing more attention to me. Then I say the coons on the corner gang. You bringing more attention to me, bro. You bringing more attention. So I'm like, bro. I had this... Bro, I had the stealing, bro. I had the stealing because he keep, whoa, 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 whoa uh, don't talk to me. Get, get off my car. Get, get, shut the fuck up, nigga. You keep repeating yourself, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Punch this nigga right in his face. So after I punched him out his fa in his face, he he was talking all this shit. I thought he about to get out the car. He didn't get out the car. I didn't close his doors either. He got out. He closed his own doors. We, we about to go back in the house. This is why he deserved the ass whooping. This nigga had bust a U-turn, right? Stopped in front of my house to talk shit. So you could bust a U-turn. So you could bust a U-turn, nigga. You could bust a U-turn. Nigga, stop stop playing with me, nigga. Niggas be playing in my face. You could you could have bust a U-turn. You disrespectful nigga. You could have bust a U-turn. So he bust that U-turn, he talking all this shit. I'm like, get out the car. Get out the car though. Stop that talking. Get out the car. I'm gonna fuck him up. It's three of us, bro. It's one of you. Get the fuck out the car. I'm like, get out the car. Get out the car. He not getting out the car. He driving slow. Niggas hunking at him. I'm like, bro, go for I'll whoop your ass. You know where I live. Pop up again. And then I try to call an Uber because I was in Uptown. I try to call an Uber back the West and my account was banned. I don't think I should be banned for that, bro. They need some, bro, they need cameras in the car to hear what's going on, bro. Because if they hear me say, yo, can you pull up to the address I paid you for? This nigga should be getting banned. He out here taking niggas to corners. You know where we live at, nigga? At nighttime, I definitely wouldn't have budged. If it was nighttime, bro, I'd be like, take me for where the fuck I paid you for, nigga. Take me to where I paid you. I'm not, you're not about to drop me off at a random corner? Are you lying to me, gang? You setting me up? So imagine, if it's dangerous at night, why the fuck would I let it go on in the daytime? Me standing on the corner with luggage, waiting for the light. And I get fucking banged. Nigga, take me to my house. Why are you even making me have to walk? That's like paying for an Uber to Walmart. And inside the plaza, he take you to a GameStop and say, The GPS told me to take you here. Like, yeah, the Walmart's still in the plaza, but what the fuck did I pay you for? Stop. Stop playing with me. Yo, that's story number one, bro. That's how I got banned the third time. We about to go to the second. Alright, All right, story number two. Okay, so I had got banned from Uber before this. The one that y'all heard was a week and a half ago. That was my new account. Now, when you sign up for Uber, you sign up um, with numbers. So my number Ben got banned in the first story time. Y'all gonna hear that when we get to the first one. The second one was my brother account. The third one, um, this was my sister's account. So, um, you know what I'm saying? The second time. So I don't know if y'all know what bubble tea is, boba. Or whatever, but um, me and my brother, we like it a lot. You know, we slow down because it's bad for your stomach, but we, yeah, we um, we like it a lot. So, um, my brother like, yo, I got a taste for some boba, so I'm gonna catch an Uber and go, you know, go grab some boba. So I'm like, all right, bet. I'm like, grab me two drinks, grab you two drinks, mind you. The the lift there was like seventeen to like seventeen or like twenty dollars or whatever. And then Damn, it is shit exclusive. We called it. You know what I'm saying? So let's put the tab at what? What our tab at? Let's just say twenty dollars. The drinks are five dollars each. We got four. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. That's forty dollars. And now we need twenty 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 back. So that's basically sixty dollars to grab some drinks. Let me tell y'all where it went wrong. He called the Uber there, he got the drinks. Boom. He called me, what you want, blah, blah, blah. I told him what I want. He like, all right, bet. I'm on my way back. He called in the Uber back. He sent the drinks in the cup holder. He sent the drinks in the cup holder. And he on his way here. Everything going fine. He like five minutes away. I got his location. I'm making sure he cool and shit. Um, my brother, my brother don't know, but I don't, I don't 
tell him where to go or where not to go or clock his clock his um his drawers or whatever but i check his his location periodically to make sure like all right he said he in the uber he's still moving oh he said he here you know he cool like i just want to make sure he cool i care about my brother a lot so i check his shit he like five minutes away boom he's five minutes away and he called me like he texted me and he snapped and he like bro i'm pissed the fuck off so i'm like what he come in here with two half spilling drink who two half spilled drinks and i asked with the other two if he spilled it and he like i had to throw him in the trash so he explained what happened right he like bro can you talk to the lady you get what i'm saying because like they just charged my car eighty dollars. I said eighty dollars for what? He said the drink spilled in his car, so they charged me, uh, um, so they charged me a damage fee. You motherfuckers make up any motherfucking fee that y'all can. Y'all make up any motherfucking fee that y'all can. I'm tired of y'all niggas. So they made something up. So they made something up called a damage fee. They charged him eighty dollars because he spilled the drinks in the car. You're not allowed to drink or eat in the Uber, y'all. This is the only fucking company that I read the fucking terms and conditions to. I know the terms and conditions. I know what's allowed and what's not allowed. Cause I'm trying to, I'm trying to not get banned. You get what I'm saying, bro? It's getting really hard. Cause I'm getting banned from Lyft as well. You get what I'm saying? So, the guy made a a, a hard turn and the drinks fell out the cup holder. He helped my brother clean it up. He like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So my brother not pissed about the 80 at the time. He pissed because the drinks is gone. So $60 is already down the drain. So when they charged him $80, I said, fuck no. So I text the girl, um, I'm like customer service or whatever. I'm like, how is that his fault? It was in the cup holder. They like, damages was done. So basically they said damages was done. So he got to pay. One, you can have drinks or food in an Uber. So we, we good on that. Two, what is a cup holder for? To hold what? It's in the name. A fucking cup. So it's to hold the cup, right? It's cups in there. If it spill out the cup holder because he making us a hard turn, who fucking fault is that? It's his. So I'm like, I'm explaining that to her, but she basically said it was spilled. He got a pet. So now I want to whoop the boy ass because he told my brother, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Let me help you clean it up. But they sent the email that he sent them. After I complained, they sent the email he sent them. They said he was back there drinking drinks and he spilled it, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay, so now I want to whoop this nigga ass. If you do not know, if you do not know, um, if you do not know, you can, um, what did I say? You can, you can, you can. If you do not know, you can um, call an Uber driver back if you if you say, and you got um, 24 hours to do it. You can call your Uber driver back and say you left something in the car. So I called him. I'm like, I left something in the car. He really not trying to come back, but I'm like, bro, I'm acting like my brother. We sound alike. I'm like, yeah, bro. Um, I'm like, I left some, I left something in the car. My AirPods they dropped. They under your seat. Like, if you're not gonna find them, I'm gonna find them. And he like, what you mean? I'm like, bro, I. I I left them like I know where they at. I put I set them somewhere while we was cleaning up. So I'm just lying to him. I just want him to come back. It take him an hour to get back. So I'm like, I'm like, bro, he taking so long to get back. I'm not even angry at him no more. I'm about to go out and just tell him about himself. Like I'm about to go out and be like, yo, bro, like I was pissed. I was about to fuck you up, but it's cool. I get out there and he was like, hey man. Uh, thanks for helping me clean up. They shouldn't charge you or anything. They shouldn't charge you or anything. Nigga, they already did charge us, and I saw your email. So now I'm pissed the fuck off, because I'm like, oh, you, you think you slick? You think you about to get your way out of ass whooping by lying? We saw the charges, and we talked to the lady, so now I'm pissed again. So I'm like, I'm like, let me check the back seat. He opened the back seat. I just socked this nigga. <laughs> nigga! He opened the back seat. That's how it's hit. Nigga. You're so done, nigga. You're done. You're done. Why you just try to sit here and act like, 
Oh, um, they shouldn't charge you or anything. We saw your email from your fucking phone, pussy. I stole this nigga. I'm fucking him up. Now nice had to pull me off. I'm stumping this nigga out, bro. I'm stumping this nigga out because it's just like, bro. And he, he an old head. He not old. He's an old head. He like 28, 30. He got a body. I just stole this nigga. Boom, boom. Nas helping me. And then Nas stopped helping because I think Nas was done. I wasn't done, though. I'm still... Uh, uh, we we should have... Put a brick on his pedal and let the car keep driving. Crash that shit out. Like, we should have did the extreme. And y'all might be like, ride over $80? No, pussy. It's not $80. It's not over $80. It's over $130, nigga. You forgot the 60 So, I'm like, I'm whipping his ass or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. And he at my house. So, I realized he at my house. So, I slow down. And I'm just like, bro, they charged us $80. We saw your email. Blah, blah, I said all that. I went in the house. I'm a little scared because I'm like, bro, if this nigga got protection, he know where I live. You know what I'm saying? He never he never end up pulling up again, but that's how I got banned the second time. <laughs> Y'all wanna see my dance? I felt gay. It's my fault. I'm never gonna do that again. Um, if you watch it right now, go watch the Walmart video. Go watch the Walmart video now. Um, cause I know you ain't see it, cause I ain't sent notifications out for it. And, um, I love y'all. Just my third video of the week. Three videos a week, man. I love y'all. Pause, nigga. You try to kiss me. It's in their face. I can see that them guys is better, cause they know this time yeah, is bigger. Is I sent a text Ooh. to a bitch. I won't see you tonight. She said she got a fine. Just said it. She said she gon' bring a hookah, so grab us a bottle. I stopped at the wine.